I'm, I'm not very confident in talking in English, so I'm going to read. Uh, I hope you don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we are presenting this, this presentation, Fostering Fair and Open Data in South American Archaeology, the Argentinian case. Uh, good afternoon uh, to everyone. Uh, we want to thank, uh, to thank the session organization uh, for letting us to particip participate here. The aim of our presentation is to bring within the scope of research an issue that has been developed in the, over the last nine years in South America, particularly in Argentina, fostering the implementation of digital corpora through the use of digital repositories and raising awareness of the importance of preserving primary data generated within research programs publicly funded. This means the creation of a digital data corpora of archaeological things becoming entangled in a network of researchers and institutions. The production of knowledge is often tied to matters that do not necessarily have to do with the ability that researchers have to do their work, but to the constraints that produce issues related so public policies on the management of the generated data. This can affect negatively or positively the development of digital corpora in science in general. However, the Latin American countries have a long history related to the development of national and international initiatives focused on the study and improvement of infrastructures aimed at allowing space, uh, allowing open access to the data generated by research. In fact, and already focusing on the objective of this paper, Latin American countries are leaders in the development of open access to this type of, of data. However, when we talk about data, we don't necessarily mean about data generated from the archaeological discipline. In 2018, we participated in a round table at the meeting of the Society for American Archaeology in Washington, where we present some ideas that uh, we are going to introduce today. This refers to a model or a way of doing science that differs in many cases of the models from North America and some European countries. This means the state pays everything in, in, in doing uh, open access. In this sense, in Argentina, we must recognize that the majority of archaeological research is funded by the state in particular by an institution that is called CONICET, uh, which is the Argentina's National Research Council, uh, similar to the French Centre National de la Recherche uh, Scientifique, or CNRS, the Italian Consiglio Nazionale de la Ricerche, or the Spanish Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas, or CSI. Uh, this financing includes the salaries of researchers, some types of infrastructure, equipment, and grants. In this sense, the citizens of the country are the ones who, through their taxes, pay for the data generated through scientific research and, of course, archaeological research. This is interesting since it has laid the foundations for the enactment of a national law on the use, on the use of data generated through these structures. The law, promulgated in 2016 and regulated the same year, establishes that the primary data generated through these state structures which is CONICET or public universities, must be made av available to the public through institutional repositories. Undoubtedly, this, it may be seen as an advantage over other countries in which there is no such legislation. Since 2009, we have been working with uh, several institutions of the Argentine, Argentinian scientific system in order to establish criteria that allows this data generated through public financing to be protected, preserved, used, and reused for the development of new scientific knowledge. This has been done in general for the disciplines grouped in what we know as social sciences and the humanities, and that, of course, includes archaeology. When we talk about e-infrastructures in countries like Argentina, we have to think that many of them have been designed for different purposes and that in general, they behave as multifunctional structures. This means that they are not only dedicated to data protection, but also fulfill other functions. Here we can mention the case of the IT infrastructure of one of our uh, universities, the National University of Cordoba, which has clusters of processors 
that are used for various activities such as email servers, human resources management, financial software, uh, and also the institutional digital repository or the open access journal platform of the same university. This ecosystem is where our research infra infrastructure is integrated, all connected with optical fiber lines and satellite connections developed by the Argentine, Argentinian state. In this sense, the hardware is available and as well as the connectivity to achieve the implementation of what we call a network of national repositories. In this regard, in 2015, the Digital Archaeology Program was created, which ha has been one of the key agents in the process of developing an, in an infrastructure for repositories of research data in Argentinian archaeology. Also, we encourage the discussion of, on the need for the collection of scattered knowledge to ingest digital repositories and online databases. During the last 10 years, we have uh, developed a project to digitize archaeological material and associated documentary archives that is uh, pioneered at the national level and that has allowed us to show in other research teams the need to protect, preserve, conserve, use and reuse data generated within the framework of archaeological research projects. This, of course, includes digital data born digitally in the framework of this current project, as well as the digitization of older data. In this sense, the tra transformation of texts that are only in analog format on paper to digital media has allowed the rediscovery of data and, and information that in general would not have been reused in modern research if it had not been translated into this new digital format. In this sense, there are several examples about the creation of databases by adding and reusing old data, such as the de database of archaeological sites in Cordoba, uh, which you can see uh, now in, in the slide, or for example, the archaeological da database of Northwestern Argentina, or the bioarchaeological database developed to a national scale. This proliferation, the proliferation of radiocarbon dating da databases that we are currently integrated, integrating into a large national base can also be cited. It is clear that none of these bases are av available in open access yet, and this ne will need to be tackled. Since uh, 2010, several initiatives have been carried out in Argentina in order to establish the basis of repositories dedicated to preserving and sharing data of scientific interest. Archaeology as a scientific discipline has been represented in those spaces by the Digital Archaeology Program, which in 2016 established the first thematic repository dedicated to archaeological data. Following the ADS model, uh, databases, images, publications, cartography, and great, uh, great literature are managed, preserved, and housed among other types of digital objects. Three years after this milestone, the Digital Archaeology Program, uh, which is partner of Ariane Plus, uh, together with the Williams Foundation from Argentina and CONICET, have begun to work on a program made at bring about interest in the subject of repositories by offering the possibility of generating new spaces or include new information in those already available. This task, task based in the notions of open access, open science, and data fairness has just begun, but it appears promising uh, and promising. These first steps has undoubtedly changed at the national level the way of seeing, using, and preserving archaeological data. At this point, and uh, from a meeting we had in October 2017 at CONICET in Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. uh, along with Julian Richards uh, from ADS and the participation of researchers, science managers, and officials of the Ministry of Science is that the need to move forward in the creation of a national world network that allowed the integration of data that researchers had begun to digitize or that was in the process of, of doing so was raised. One of the first activities we had uh, during the creation of this national network was the need for the data to comply with the FAIR principles. That is to say that the data in the first instance could be traceable uh, it may fulfill the condition of being accessible, their metadata must allow to be harvested by, by several systems, 
And finally, that these data sets can be reusable by the community. During the last year, this national network was consolidated through various face-to-face -face meetings in Buenos Aires that incorporated archaeologists from uh, several geographies of Argentina and that carry out their daily activities thousands of kilometers away. In fact, the researchers that make up the network are located from the north end of Argentina to the last city that owns our continent to the south. Uh, this implies about 4,000 kilometers of distance between the farthest points. Therefore, in addition to the face-to-face -face meetings, we have established virtual communication channels through various uh, video conferencing plat platforms and other more popular ones such as the various text messaging platform, platform through cell phones. Uh, this is causing a great impact, not only at the level of the archaeological practice from digital environments, but also in terms of personal and interpersonal relations, relationships within this network. This has allowed the network to become a great attractor of new members interested in the development of digital archaeology. Last July, we had the possibility of holding a round table as a part of the 20th National Congress of Argentinian Archaeology, in which 11 presentations were delivered. Several data sets were presented, ready to be integrated into, into the network. This includes 3D models on the material culture of late societies from northwestern Argentina, hunting and fishing societies from the southernmost region of the country, actions of public archaeology uh, along uh, with native Patagonian communities, communities that databases of archaeological sites, radiocarbon, radiocarbon dates, so archaeological and lithic analysis, among others. In short, Argentinian archaeologists has understood the need to create digital things corpora based on broad and inclusive criteria such as those pro proposed by FAIR in a global, global context that attempts to work together in an international open science project. In this sense, the integration with continental initiatives such as Ariane Plus has allowed us to reach agreements for the development of the national network and its integration worldwide. Finally, we expect all of these actions to take effect on the improvement in digital things corpora originated from the global south. Thank you very much for the, for the